<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, in my last video, I made a quick mention of this article that was covered by Joker. Now, I'm going to give my opinion on it. This article was published on the 1st of June. Where are the men of courage? They're gone thanks to quote unquote toxic masculinity. Now I get where the author is trying to go with this. However, here is the true answer. Men of courage are gone because of toxic feminism and a society that demonizes men on a regular basis. So yes, men in general, but men of courage especially have had enough and voted with their feet. The article's lengthy, so I'm going to have to chop it down to size. So, we vilify men of action, brand chivalry and valor, quote unquote, toxic masculinity, and stamp on the manly virtues that made civilization possible. Boy, that is an understatement if I've ever seen one. Now it goes into what happened in Texas, so we're not gonna revisit that. However, armchair Twitter warriors armed with minimal real data ranting about cowardice are missing the point. If that is not a statement of irony, I don't know what is. In fact, the Twitter mob, the faceless crowd of true cowards who love to sit behind their computers and be keyboard warriors. I don't know who said this, but someone once said that the internet and social media especially have made too many people far too comfortable with being disrespectful to other people and thinking that they'll never suffer the consequences. Yeah, all of those Twitter warriors, they would never say what they typed in real life to the person that they aimed it at. Why? Because they know the potential for a fist fight skyrockets. You cannot bully people to be brave or nag them into valor. They either are or they are not that way. We used to venerate men like the entire shift of 15 firefighters from Midtown's Engine 54, Ladder 4, Battalion 9, whose fading photographs still face the heedless crowds on 8th Avenue. Men with families to live for who rushed to their deaths on 9-11 because they believed in a system of honor and duty in which they were destined to be the guardians of their community. We pathologize manly virtues and bow to the tyranny of identity politics that seeks power by overthrowing a make-believe patriarchy. We raise boys in a soup of reproach and negativity that tells them that their intrinsic nature is diseased. Quote, unquote, traditional masculinity is psychologically harmful. The American Psychological Association declared in 2019. These were the masculine attributes it listed as diseased. Stoicism, competitiveness, dominance, aggression, anti-femininity, achievement, 
a shul of appearance of weakness and adventure, risk and violence. Oh boy, the very ingredients that keeps a society civil because these are the ingredients of a good, well-grounded man. The only acceptable man is now a man who wants to be a woman. We celebrate quote unquote pregnant men and quote unquote chest feeding men. Now I'm gonna go just a tad bit off in the weeds here with a question that I always wanted to ask, particularly to you feminists. You love to spout that men have inherent male privilege. Okay, if that's the case, why don't you see more women transitioning into men? Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, you want to know the answer to that? Well, there's a video here on YouTube of a feminist who actually tried to do that. She lived her life as a man and she found out just how horrible of an existence that men truly have in this society to the point that not only she went back to being a woman, she actually put on a dress and had to go to therapy because she found out just how bad it is for men. Oh, I'm gonna twist the knife just a little bit deeper, ladies. How is it that you have so many men who've transitioned into being women or taking on feminine traits. I mean, hell, when you have a biological man win woman of the year and you have more trans winning beauty pageants, that goes to show you that men are better at even being women. Bruce Jenner, anyone? <laughs> but I don't want to stray too far from the point. You see, in the drive to destroy masculinity, we have created, or should I say, yeah, we've created a society that has erased women as well. We ignore the crisis that sees men commit suicide at ever increasing rates or succumb to drug abuse while savvy young women graduate from college in disproportionate numbers. Trained from childhood to be entitled and unrealistic about relationships, their fertility and the sacrifices and joys of motherhood, with many becoming bitter and blaming men for their confusion. So what do men do? They recoil and retreat, i.e., as I first stated at the start of this video, Men in general, good men especially, have seen the writing on the wall, they've seen all the anti-male propaganda, and they voted with their feet. They said, you know what? We don't owe women or society a damn thing beyond the bare minimum. Then, when we need a strong, quick-thinking Gary Cooper to save us from the outlaws, he's nowhere to be found. He has been rendered extinct. Ah, gentlemen, this is where I get to recite one of my favorite phrases. Women and society got what it wanted. Now it doesn't want what it got, period. Period, point blank. Yes, ladies, yes, society, all of these efforts to demonize men, to emasculate men, it was all nice and grand as long as society 
was quote unquote safe enough for you to do so? Oh, but how things have changed. How society is now on fire. And so many people are going crazy. Yes, the attacks on women have increased. You know, unfortunately, shootings have increased. Yes, this society has gone to hell in a handbasket. And now you have so many people out here saying, oh, my God, where are the good men who are going to defend us? Oh, no, 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 no. See, here's what society ultimately tried to do. They did it in the black community, but they want to transfer this onto all other men. I don't know if anybody coined this term. If so, I would give them their credit. But if not, you heard it here first. What society wants men to do, or they try to engineer men into being, is quote unquote, conditional masculinity. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you look at the black community, most black men in the community are only allowed to be masculine under certain conditions, i.e. you're going to sacrifice yourself for random women. Mm -hmm. Just like how that reporter in, I believe it was Australia, talked about how the men on that train were quote unquote cowards because they didn't step in. No, 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 no. We've created a society that have told good men, if you step in, more than likely, you're going to end up behind bars. Yes, all of these thought processes that good men have, they have a split second to think about all of it. Okay, so the guy on the train, let's take that for an example. If it was a white guy who actually stepped up to him, guess what? The race car can get pulled. If it was another guy, another black man who stepped up to him, guess what? Nine times out of 10, it would have ended in physical violence. Yeah, non-black men would have been subject to the race card. Black men would have been subject to the violence card. However, however, more and more men have realized prison and the grave are full of men who decided to rush into a situation that they had no idea what was going on because they thought it was the right thing to do. Yeah, no, no. Listen, this is the society that you thought was not going to happen, but guess what? It did. When those same good, honest men tried to tell you, hey, you're going too far with this, what were we told? Oh, you're just a misogynist. You're just an ist or ism, blah, 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 blah. So you thought men were gonna continue to fight to be quote unquote needed by society. Yeah. No, men have a line. Guess what? In the end, feminism freed men from one of the biggest quote unquote yokes that we have. Protection and provision of a society and a group of women who actually despise us. So yes, more and more men are enjoying their newfound freedom. And thank you, TikTok for being the cesspool that you are by constantly exposing female nature. I've always said this, women are the best red pill salesmen, period, period. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the entire article. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies, and society, the power of good, honest men has gone out. The protection and provision 
that we were programmed to give has gone out right along with us. So enjoy this new world that you created. And for the women who would say, I had no part in this, yeah, you had a part to play too. It was the silent role. You had no problems getting the benefits of feminism, even though you're trying to say that you had no part in it. Hey, the most basic thing between men and women, which is trust is gone. So now ladies, you're gonna have to fend for yourself in this new world that you created. That's all I gotta say for this one. RPM, I am out.